In the centre of the French countryside was a beautiful chateau, left abandoned and forgotten for over 40 years. Then, one year ago, a family from the UK fell in love with its beauty and embarked on an adventure. This is where, the hotel. where that big tree is there, you can see the, can see the pillar. To bring back to life this forgotten chateau. Join myself, Terry, my partner, Ash, my mum, Tracy, dad, Tony, and nephew, Jonathan, in our family adventure at Chateau de la Lasalle. What are we doing here today, Taz? Well, we're supposed to be food shopping. <laughs> Got no money. So don't tell mum. <laughs> oh, look, still here. This is a proper Aladdin's cave, so everywhere you look, it's just furniture stacked high. Not all my cup of tea, some of it's really nice. This nice, isn't it? For the um, the salon on the third floor. Yeah, yeah, actually. Just get on the mic, take a little power off. Why do I get this feeling this this trip's gonna cost us a fortune? That's just yeah. Might do with the price though. Yeah. Got hundred euros every time we come. <laughs> Inflation. I don't know if you like that or not. The settee. Low, Didn't we have one very similar when we lived in Thornaby? Yeah, it's not big though. High, wasn't it? Yeah. They're horrible. No, you like for events. Yeah, but you're only going to have like eight of them. See, I like these sort of things. They're pretty. Little court champions. Mum would love them. Look outside the cottage wired up. Put little batteries in and then she could walk to the function room. <laughs> How good's that? We have torches. We have phones. But they don't work. Yes, they do. But it's not as good as that. It's not as good as that. She could be walking to the function room and then she can come back. And she'll like, I'll just leave it outside there. And it'd be like, voila. <laughs> I know you can't see, Bray. I'm stood here shaking my head. Good idea. I like them, <laughs> but just not for that. I like them nice big tapestries. Yeah, it's a bit thick. Yeah. yeah. I 
I think we found our buys for the day, haven't we? Yes, there's two little chairs that Ash loves, isn't there? So it was me that spotted them again. Yeah, to show them. I'll Go, see. On then. Go on then. Ash is all excited. So it's these nice brown chairs that he likes, isn't it, Ash? Yes. No. <laughs> no, these ones he likes. Comfy. They are comfy. But there's unusual the shape, aren't they? Uh -huh. Um. And the fabric, quite like the fabric as well. I wasn't keen on the fabric, but the comfy, and if you like the fabric, then... Mm. I don't know where they'd go. I think, I think the bathroom, our bathroom on the third floor, we're looking for something like this. I know, I wasn't planning on doing it those colours, though. Well, you can change your mind. It's a blank canvas right now. I know, I wasn't really planning on doing a bathroom red or green. You don't have to do it red or green, it's got like gold bits in. You've got all the goldy little bits of trim and everything. Yeah. We'll see. They might go somewhere else, but they're nice. Mm, they're lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have a little look. Please don't. Stop shopping. <laughs> everyone, I am only joking. He is. He's only one joke. <laughs> they look a bit scary. <laughs> Got some lovely stuff, but then they just have some absolute tats all on there. Yeah. So if you'd watched us before when we came to this brook hunt, you notice, see that these two units we loved and they're still here. So still too expensive. Well, we'll see. I'm sure they'll still be in a wild one. I'm sure they'll be here for another year or two. Mm -hmm. Looks like they've been here a few years already. And then all of the chandeliers. Tons and you tons and tons. You do not need any more chandeliers. That's quite cunny. I want this fire, that's how you want to let me have it. Yeah, Ash wants this fire. How nice is that? Which, I think it's a little bit too big. It's nice though. But where the hell would we put I that? I don't care, it'll be warm. <laughs> it probably weighs warm more than a yeah. small plant. Yeah. Do I like that lampshade on that? Does it go with the chairs? No. It's not nice and it doesn't go with anything. I don't know if I like it or not. Definitely didn't go with the lamp stand. No, I'm not saying the stand, I just like the shade. I think we need to get out of here. I think you do. Your taste is gone. My taste was never here. <laughs> I never proclaimed to have taste in the first place, time. No. So the nice buffet okay. unit. Why do I like that? No. Mm -hmm. We don't like that, Ash. Oh, I do. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, lovely. We got the chairs. <laughs> we were always going to get the chairs, Terry. Yeah. For well, the price. I no, Ash likes them. For 30 euro, you can't have them. I know they're not grand or not like that, but... I don't know, let's just think about them, isn't that quite like? We've all seen them and just went, we like them. Yeah. And that doesn't happen very often, so... No, no, no. When that happens, we just buy it. Yeah. And for 30 euro, you can't go wrong. They'll go nice somewhere. Happy? Very. Let's Can we get sit in the back to the way home. Let's get back to the shower. Come on. We've just come to another little brook hunt, haven't we, Ash? Yes, we have. <laughs> what was, can we go shopping? Well, we are shopping. Yeah, we are shopping, I suppose, but... <laughs> God, this place is just full. Terry's idea of heaven. Yeah. Definitely, I'd have to spend... No. How could you even, how do you even know what's behind all of that? It's 
crazy. Just stuff, fun stuff. Ooh, I found some water light. Oh, it's a little chandelier. Petty chandelier. <clears throat> I think there are for candelabra. And a picture. Oh. I'll show you that one second. Fancy dress. Okay. You got a picture, did you say? Yeah. I don't know why I like it. I've just got a pointy towel like ours. Oh, this one? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A fairy tale one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you dropped it. It's only a, it's only a print. print. It's a pretty print. Yeah. This place is just, it goes on and on and on. More chandeliers to tell you to look at. This is just like a full day's job, this isn't it? It is. <laughs> Do you want to come back? We're meant to be going to see friends tonight, Terence. Yes, I think I could spend all day in here. There's <laughs> things everywhere. Can you? No, you literally can't. How does someone accumulate this amount of stuff? Um, Terry, I guarantee after a few years in front, that is a vile. <laughs> that is a vile. What's more worrying is someone's took the time and effort to make and then paint it. I'm interested to those curtains up. So there's absolutely all sorts in here. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get them out. Now he's found an old lock. <clears throat> you need the old key to go over the old lock though, Terence, you know. No, it's not for me if I have the key. Isn't it? Yeah. The sheer amount of stuff in here. Honestly, I'm just amazed. I could spend literally all day just sifting through stuff. Um, again, Ashes had to go back to the bank <laughs> like last time because yeah. there's just so much stuff. Luckily, we've managed to find a pair of old curtains and some brass door handles which i've been after um so he's gone to nip out to get them and left me to look see if there's any more bits <laughs> so i'll have a little look now it's just stuff upon stuff because obviously i could go crazy but all i need at the minute is door handles because and a lot of the doors we don't have any 
handles. I think the previous owner took as much as he could. Um, so I'm just on the hunt. I managed to get some porcelain ones and there's some brass ones. Records, lots of nice pictures. There's just tons and tons and tons of stuff everywhere. Where have I had to go, Terence? You have to go to the bank. <laughs> Why did they have to go to the bank, Terence? Because I spotted more stuff. Look at that. A wall light. Shame it's obviously got a couple of bits broke, but... Well, amazing. We, we went into that first building that looked like an Aladdin's cave, and there's an even bigger Aladdin's cave here, so... But we have some door handles, so Terry's happy. And some curtains. Yeah. He's a happy chappy. I think I'm just going to leave him here. I'll come back from tomorrow. So we're just on our way back. Obviously, we spent a lot longer than we expected in there, didn't we? But it was absolutely amazing. Even I really enjoyed it. We just had this conversation before we started recording. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. I tried yeah. to get some bits on my phone, but my camera's not that good in mostly when it's quite dark. So you could only see bits of it. And I was just too excited just looking at everything. <laughs> so we got a couple of little bits, didn't we? Yeah, we've um, been after curtains for ages. Yeah. And you found oh. a set of three. Yeah. We got, well, we've got three curtains. Yeah, but that yeah. means we might be able to do like part of the apartment or what, I don't know. Definitely. We'll be able to do something match. with them. Um, we have Abe coming over. He, he works with materials. He's good with that sort of stuff. He might be yeah. able to work his magic. You never know. Strange. They're so old, like the. They are really old, aren't they? Yeah, really old. And the smell of curry, <laughs> which is strange. Um, and then we've got some door handles, because I've been after some porcelain and brass door handles. We've been looking everywhere for them. And he's turned around and said, I'll charge you five pound, five euro for the two, two pairs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that okay? He was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so we've got them. And then as soon as I walked in, I seen these panels, the, like little concrete panels aren't they? Yeah, really pretty. Um, so they, they look lovely. We've only got three of them, so hopefully we'll be able to do something with them um, up on the third floor, just to give it a bit of character. Yeah. Um, but they are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Again, just a, a nice, nice trip. We've went, we've passed there probably twenty times and said yeah. we're going to go in and have a look. And one thing or another, we've not managed to get in. And genuinely, the bloke there was probably one of the nicest people I've we've met in France. Yeah, yeah, he is brilliant. Stood there, it's talked with us. It's nice and cheap, and you just get a rummage through everything. Yeah, so it's good. Terry yeah. absolutely loved it, and like I say, so die. I can't complain yeah. about that at all. The one that we've just been to before, and obviously it's it's nice because it's all laid out and you can see everything, but you pay a price for it. Yeah. So where that one, you just go in and you just rummage, rummage, and then you get it for like. Five euros. Euro. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, there we just got all that there. I've just said if we'd have been in the place before, we'd have paid five hundred euro. There we've just paid seventy-five. Yeah. For three panels, three curtains, loads of door handles, and it was just nice, wasn't it? Yeah. It was Showed nice. us around some other parts that wasn't open. So. And we're going to keep brilliant. an eye out for some uh, carry lash, some some nice tiles for us tiles. as well. Yeah. 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 So he knows, and what was really interesting is. He knew the last people to live in the chateau years and years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he knew the owner we bought it off, uh, Monsieur Verdier. Um, obviously, they're both antique dealers, so he knew him. Um, but we stood there and had some great conversation. We stood there probably talking for half an hour, three quarters of an hour with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. When we've got shopping defrosting in the back here. I know. So, so we better get back, get that sorted. Um, and we'll show you a couple of bits that we got as well. So, see you back at the chateau.
So we've just had a wonderful viewer, viewer. Subscri YouTube subscriber show. Yeah, um, we we're just busy just doing our little things, weren't we? Yeah. Um, and so he just came for a little visit just to to see everything, really, didn't yeah. he? Say hello and, and bring us some wonderful gifts. Um, it was like a uh, Bracant on Wales. Yeah, it really yeah. was. Yeah. And, and what 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 is really funny and, and really strange, as you'll see from the videos that we'll put together. Yeah. is yesterday there was certain things that Terry was looking for and he ummed and ahed and ummed and ahed and in the end didn't go you didn't get them did you? I didn't know. He woke up this morning and said right I'm going back to that Fricant. Anyway it. as it happens this gentleman's just shown up called John um, we only got his first name John you were absolutely brilliant so yeah. thank you so much. Fantastic yeah, honestly. To see him. But the two things Terry was going to go back for He's actually turned up with. Yeah, honestly, I couldn't believe it. Well, not only really that, but they're better. They're better, better yeah. yeah. Aren't you looking at? Yeah. Um, so one of the things I was looking at um, in the Brockham, they had this big piece of marble. I'll get the edge, please. Um, which uh, it was from a church, um, and it was just a, a white piece of marble, and it had uh, some inscriptions. It was J H T S. Yeah. Um, I think it was JHS and then it had the cross in the yeah, centre. Yeah. Um, and it was just nice and I thought it would be lovely for one of the, the, the big bathroom that we're doing um, to have as like a wall plaque with the tap yeah. fitted in it, um, just to give it a bit of something nice. But anyway, John had came over and said, oh, I've got these, I don't know if you'd like them or use them. And this is like one of the smaller panels um, that he's brought over. So we've got two of these and then we've got a massive it must centre be panel. Three, three times as long, if not. Yeah. yeah. Um, of a, a centre one with the same detailing. Beautifully, beautifully yeah, done. done. The work on them is tremendous. Yeah. It's all sculpted and then coloured and, and yeah. patterned. So it's, it's fantastic. So they'll be going in the bathroom just to give it a, a little bit more sort of opulence in there. Um, brought us some beautiful plates. Uh, there was one that you said was quite special, didn't it? So this one was from the estate of a, of a, a prominent ex-French politician, I think he said, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah. And but he, what he's done is put a, this, some of the tail on the back for us to uh, check up on. So yeah. he's bought, John bought this on 25th of May 2009 at quarter past two, very specific. <laughs> but there's a bit more information here, down here about it as well. So this is from 1844 to 1923. This has been kept somewhere else. So an absolute genuine piece of beautiful French history is going to be going back into our, the quali our lovely The quality shuttle. and finish on it is absolutely superb. Though. Yeah, it is. It's stunning. The skin tones are uh, the, the almost real. For the age that it is and the way it's kept its colour. Oh, it's it's been well looked after. It's tremendous. And then I think one of your favourite ones is Tez. I don't know whether you want to show Tracy hers, Tez, Tone. Wow. Because again... Tracy's obviously got her nice shears, but we've got two windows up there now mm -hmm. yep. to look yeah. out of. So, bless him, I don't know how he managed to get Ollis in his car as well. No. Um, it must have took him a week to do. An ordinary salon car. He'd heard Tracy uh, mention how she'd like to uh, sit and, and look out the window, and and uh, this belonged. Had this this was his neighbour's. The mother of his elderly neighbour, he said, didn't yes. he? Yes, yeah. Yes, he said and, he didn't um, want to ask how old, how old she was, she was. <laughs> <laughs> which which sort of prevented me from asking how old John was. Yeah. He, he's no spring chicken, let's put it that way. No. And just the thought of him to to think of Tracy, yeah. see this and, and think of her straight away. Well, like everyone out there, though, obviously you just like Tracy. She is. She's an inspiration to everyone, mm -hmm. not just women. The amount of work that she does and what she does here at the chateau as well. It's, yeah. it's just as well as what she does on camera. Yeah. yeah. So he just wanted to um, to give her synchronize. yeah synchronize where she can put her feet up and just relax. So yeah. I, I, I've given it a test drive, <laughs> not properly. I'll try it a little bit later, but uh, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Thank you again, John. Yeah, pop it over there. Yeah. John has brought us. Loads and loads of beautiful pictures. Yeah. We've got loads of pictures, so we'll get a bit closer so you can see them. This one is literally it's a hand painted portrait, but it is exactly 100 years old. So, in its centenary year, it's going to be hanging in the chateau at some point. 
How wonderful is that? We're not sure who it is, but we're going to try and do a little bit of research, see if we can find something out. So if any if any of you know, we'll we'll do a quick I'll do a quick zoom in of the signature on the bottom. If any of you can make that out, let us know. There may be something on the back, but we don't really want to go disturbing anything. No. And we've got, and you know, you all know what Terry's like for mirrors. This one, the silver in, just starting to go as well, showing some. But showing the age, some age in this, it just purely in the weight. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's absolutely. It's not perfect. It's got a, a few. It's indents and, and, and the mirror's not perfect but it's exactly what you you would look for isn't it yeah yeah it is it's to a tea. lovely so it is very nice very nice indeed and then there's numerous numerous small paintings and i think these are the ones that uh, terry likes yeah, yeah. The, the one at the back as well it's lovely wasn't it the, yeah yeah so these were, um, there's two in frames isn't there and then I think he'd give us a couple out of frames. Yeah there's a couple more. Out of the frames yeah, but they're just lovely beautiful Typical little French uh, illustrations. Um, see the yes. frames are a little bit modern but the pictures but, are beautiful. So they're, they're obviously yeah, that lovely. from magazines or books. Mm -hmm. um, Certainly promotional things, but the quality of them all is superb. Yes, it's just wonderful. But then the most exciting part, which is you want that. Oh, so excited! You so, want that to you? Yeah, right. yeah. So we'll take you on because we've got them all lined up on the stairs. So these are the most exciting parts. I was just over the moon with. That's the all fender. Yeah. A beautiful, beautiful fender. As soon Again, as I saw it's, in, it. it's in brass as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely stunning. And the matching companion. Yeah, little set. Stunning. So that'll be. To be honest, it's it's just beautiful. I don't know. You can, you'll use room it room somewhere. Room. But oh, definitely. I just don't. It's just so nice. I don't know what room to actually put it in. It'll so. be tricky getting it down from the third floor. <laughs> and then we've we'll so got the matching set of dogs to go with it. So do you know where I might actually put it? In the. Um, 401 suite, mm -hmm. the middle bedroom, um, that's going to be like the biggest and most opulent room we've got, but it doesn't have a fire in at the moment, <laughs> which I need to speak to you about. <laughs> <laughs> Just a conversation for later. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if we don't actually get a fire in there, does it just need a fire? It, it just, just needs just needs a flue putting in and a fire and scaffold and putting up and half the roof deconstructed and to get no into chimney. it. And so in the meantime, then we can actually <laughs> put these in to make it look like there's a an old fire there. So because otherwise, obviously, we've got all of the stoves in there, yeah. so we wouldn't use dogs in any of the fires. No, no. So I think having that there it would be would be nice. Yeah, I found the fire. I found the room that they're going in and then for now for again now. you know what a bugger terry is for wall lights yeah so i've been looking at them in everywhere every brock on that i go to i always pick them up i never buy them um but he's bought us two beautiful rococo style um wall scrolls so they're amazing still don't know where to put them it's just too much isn't it it's just lovely some of these some of the the these candles, candlesticks that have come out, the workmanship in, and the craftsmanship in these is, is unbelievable. And again, yeah. And then another thing, which obviously is absolutely amazing, we've been looking for them all over, haven't we? We will actually, the only reason I know what they're called, they're poignier de port. And yeah. again, the only reason I know that is yesterday, Terry's making me go and ask the brick on toner um, for some door handles if he's got some. Yeah. Um, so you've got like the plate and the handles, and we've got probably about six, six or eight in there, um, which are just they're stunning, aren't they? Beautiful. Even just to use as push plates on doors would be yeah, it'd be lovely. Would fit in really well. Yeah, you were so, looking for a solution to our little window problem opening. Oh yeah, um, obviously on the third floor because we've got the dormer windows. When we open them, the handle on them obviously keeps on hitting the plasterboard um, which it did when it was just normal plaster up there as well and obviously over time it's going to start 
wrecking it and just looking a bit nasty. So John had brought us these lovely plates. I think there's three of them, isn't it, Tom? There's three of them. These two are the same and, and that it. one's slightly different. So. Yeah. so put that one in the salon and then one other side um, just so it'll act as like a little stock plate, won't it? Yeah. So they are the lovely, especially. Um, got a lovely, yeah, a little wall stand, which is fantastic, isn't it? And this, you did say it was a very old, very well made, and quite, I think it's a, a quite a famous uh, French design, tapestry. French tapestry, which mm -hmm. is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Some, yeah. Somebody very, uh, very famous with a lady in waiting. So, this is. Royal Paris, and then the then the number some sequencing number. So yeah, yeah, that's um, very nice. Another thing that we can uh, try and find some information on. Definitely if anybody out there knows, can give us any pointers. That'd certainly save us a lot of hard work. Yep. And then I see. Didn't forget about Ash. No. Ash absolutely loves his copper pans. Um, when we go about we try to get some done. Well, we? we replaced all of our our kitchenware in our old kitchen with copper i love cooking with copper it's just it's such a good mm -hmm. uh metal to to cook with anyway so you bought, um, yeah. but you bought me a full set of used ones and also a full set of brand new copper pans <laughs> so for sure we just need a kitchen now. <laughs> you still don't work out, can't work out how we managed to get it all in one car. No, no, no. no. Um, I mean, this this little uh, cheese cover that you brought as well. Yeah, it's just, just so beautifully really. elegant. But um, it's just, the idea is like we could go on for hours just fun. going through all the stuff like we were here. It really us was like a Bacant on wheels. Yeah, absolutely. He's bought us a little water dish thing. from the Headquarters, so the army headquarters officers mess. Yeah, we have a butter dish. We're not sure us. how it came about it, so <laughs> we, we didn't ask. Tell you his yeah, um, but honestly, it's just absolutely fantastic. And just John, if you're watching, thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure having you here. I think you felt like you were imposing on us. No, and it's it's you always were... nice to uh, to get a visit and to be able to show people around and for them to actually see what we get to see every day yeah i think one of the things he couldn't work out to get the grips with is how much space there was yeah, yeah. you just can't show that on film yeah. but to be here i think that was the thing that got him a lot yeah definitely but um bernard just thank you so so much obviously it was wonderful to meet you and it was wonderful to show you around as well yeah um, i hope you enjoyed it and, and you're welcome back anytime mate yeah. anytime just come back in summer when it's a bit warmer for you because <laughs> it is absolutely freezing it was a bit chilly today <laughs> listen the sun's out but it's still freezing cold yeah um but well, honestly it's just a, a treasure trove of stuff it's and, just and there's nothing that you've brought that in one way or another will not get you like we'll use absolutely everything that you've brought so definitely thank we you will. so much we will. Um, but just thank you to everyone just just thinking like about us to, to send anything in really obviously the cards that we get sent in especially for the time capsule like we're receiving oh, so many yeah, cards for that. In now it's tremendous we'll, 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 we'll have to do a, a little bit yeah we can do like a little catch up to s tell people the ones that we've received obviously you've still got plenty of time so if you still do want to send in um, a, a letter or a postcard or just anything really to go in the time capsule in the cottage then you're more than welcome to and even obviously if it comes like are too late then we're still going to keep them and we're going to do one in the shadow as well anyway so please whatever you want to send in you're more than welcome to and the address will be in the description for you so you can just go in the description on this video and find it in there and it's on facebook and YouTube yeah it's on facebook well. yeah so it's, it's all over or you can even just type in shadow to Lola sell on google and <laughs> it comes up comes up shows you exactly where we are so mm -hmm absolutely fantastic isn't and it it's obviously yeah. right because uh, john came yeah it the first time he got here so it is a bit difficult to get into the drive but <laughs> <laughs> we're rectifying that as well that's another big job coming yeah. Yeah. hopefully the next couple of weeks we'll have a new entrance yeah so we'll keep you posted we will we will but thank you again and we'll get back to work <laughs> get the fire on yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bringing back this once forgotten chateau, then please join us on Patreon with behind the scenes footage, updates, live chat, and your very own piece of the chateau.